Hey ladies, it's Peter here. One of the things that I've been thinking about lately is being fit and healthy and how I live and approach each day. What it's highlighted to me is why I want to exercise. And so one of the things that really came to the forefront for me was the fact that I lived with my grandparents and my mother when I was first born and for a, a lot of years after that. And so I saw firsthand the impact of health diseases, and immobility on the people who were nearest and dearest to me and that was at a really really young age um, i saw how the basic things of life were taken away so my grandmother's ability to cook a meal or to even shower herself or to get her own groceries um, and i saw how you know her world got so much smaller and she was just in the house you know looking at the four walls um, and I didn't really think much of it back then you know I just got to spend time with her and so I was just always hanging out now Nana wasn't that old when she passed away um, she was my age actually so I'm in my 60s and that just scares the living daylights out of me, to be honest, that, you know, she just seemed so old. She seemed um, unable um, to do things. And she is the same age that I am now. And that just is a mind blow for me. Um, <clears throat> but here's the thing like my mum has all the same preventable health diseases that my grandmother had and in fact my great-grandmother had all these as well too and so you know i watch mum as the things that she's able to do are getting smaller and smaller and smaller i've seen her be able to walk you know the whole shopping center to now um going i'll just sit here and can you go and do this for me uh, i've seen her decline so she's now using frames to get around as far as walking around is concerned so she limits the amount of walking that she does um i uh, i've seen her stop doing things that she loved and enjoyed like you know like going to to church and and hanging out with her friends and those types of things so the the world just gets smaller her world is getting smaller and smaller because of her inability to be able to do the things basic things like move around and and enjoy her life and you know at this young age that i was when i first saw this and now i'm seeing it now I, it, it really does highlight to me how important it is for me to want to exercise. And I've got to be honest, you know, there are days where I, I don't want to, I don't want to do it. I don't feel like doing it, but I do do it because I know and I think about that feeling that I have after I exercise. I feel so much better. And I may not feel it leading into it, and sometimes I don't even feel it during it. But after I get through it, I go, oh, that wasn't so bad. Um, I'm feeling fantastic. And, you know, why, why was I so hesitant in actually doing it? So I think what's important here is that we want to exercise. And I know that some of the research that I've been looking at just recently shows that as we get to these years, these, you know, these midlife years that we're in, what happens is that 50% of us stop 
regularly exercising or you know we we've never really started exercising um, and what that means to us is that it is it, it will have an impact on us because the single thing that we can do for ourselves to improve our lifespan is to exercise and so it is just one of those very basic foundations to have us living our best lives and to be able to do it each day the way we want to that is and so you know to be fit and healthy might mean something different to each one of us you know you might aspire to be super thin um, and it really isn't about that it's being able to and it's okay if that's what you want to do but it is about being able to do the things that we want to do and I think that starts with understanding like where are we right now so often we don't think about like what can I do or what can't I do and knowing where that is so we've got this line in the sand as such so we know the things that we struggle with and so when we know that and we start to take that step because we go okay I want to exercise because I want to improve this then what it means is each and every time I do that thing I'm getting better at it and what that means for me is that I've got something to celebrate I've got some type of um, part of me that's changed because of that and so often what can happen is we can set these goals or we can set these things that we want to reach and they're they're just way out there and though that that can be daunting and really really difficult to achieve and to keep going whereas if we simply just go okay I know I want to exercise because I want to live my life this way and you know where you start from and then you continue to measure it it's just a number it's nothing more than that and then what you can do is if you're measuring it you've got something that you can be super proud of that you've achieved it's not about you know whether you're lifting the heaviest weights um, or any of those things as I said it's not about whether you're running marathons or anything it is about you and what's important to you and how you want to live your life so for me each day I want to wake up knowing that I am the fittest I can be that I'm the healthiest I can be that knowing where I started and where I currently am at so that I continue to push myself that little bit more so that each time I do something I am achieving and improving and it gives me something to be super proud of myself for so I don't know whether I'll you know hold off all of these health issues that you know my mum's had my grandma and and you know my great-grandmother had but I know that I'm giving it a good pushback and look I know all of the reasons there are that we can possibly give ourselves for not exercising but I think what happens is when it comes to exercise we can make it feel so difficult we make it so complex but it doesn't have to be like that it can be very very simple and I know the number one reason for not exercising is I don't have enough time but I could guarantee you because I know I do this I will get on this phone and I will start flicking and scrolling through social media and before I know it I've lost a heap of time so I've been practicing not to do those things but if you look at that you know what is that 
five minutes or that 10 minute thing that you're currently spending time on that if you stop doing that and you just did five minutes worth of exercise or 10 minutes worth of exercise, think how much you would improve your health span because you are going to increase how long you live for and you're going to help yourself prevent some of these terrible diseases that we could have in life just simply by exercising. And who wants to, who doesn't want to do that really? Seriously? We all want to live our best life and sometimes what we do is we get so caught up in our head telling ourselves all the reasons that we can't do it and yet if we just spent that moment going well why do I want it and just taking those first couple of steps to do something and just being consistent if the simplest thing that you could do right now is most of us probably go and have a coffee and it probably takes you know one minute to three minutes to make that cup of coffee so while that kettle is boiling whether it's coffee or tea if you just spent that one to three minutes doing something that was moving your body and improving and you did that each time that you boil the kettle then you're going to be getting quite a bit of exercise in for the day and you're going to feel so much better you're going to be improving your health span and life is just going to feel better it's going to put you into a more positive framework and I, and I think that that's what's important is sometimes we just we get caught up on thinking about all of the things that we have to do and why we can't do them so we just stay in that negative those negative thoughts and so if we can just flip that switch just for a minute and just change it over to positive and to make it feel simpler then we're more likely to do it and we're more likely to achieve from it so they're my thoughts for today everybody um please you know just post below and tell me why you want to exercise or if you're that person who has got some reasons hanging around in your head like i don't have time or i don't have motivation then what i want you to do is today scrape the surface away okay and start to think about um why those things are there so what is motivation you know why is that stopping you from doing it because really it, it's a matter of getting out of our heads and to stop telling ourselves why we can't do things and to actually just take that small amount of action so they're my thoughts for today anyway ladies so take care have a super day let me know if you need any help all you have to do is message me i'm here for you and um, go ahead and have a great day and i'll see you soon bye for now